So today's video is going to be kind of a hands-on uh, tutorial of how to use the Robinhood app. Um, I've been using this app for a little over a year now and um, I'll kind of go through the menus and just kind of show you guys around the app. So this first number here is the amount of money uh, currently that your stocks are worth. So mine are worth 4200 right now and if you click on uh, the 1M that shows uh, for one month how how much or basically how your stocks have done and you can kind of drag your finger along the bar here and kind of see um, see what it's done uh, three month six month and one year so um, and for some reason Robinhood hasn't activated the all button so you can't see what your stocks have done all time because I've had my uh, my stocks for longer than a year, so I'm not sure why I can't press that button. But um, right underneath that, it shows uh, you can kind of see some articles right here, um, or basically just um, you know tells you information about your stocks, usually, um, and just kind of what's going on in the market. Uh, right underneath that, it shows what shares you have purchased. So uh, right now I have 163 shares of Ford, I have Frontier, Activision, and so on. Um, these three are my top three. And if you click, you can actually move them to where you want them. So I have my top three up at the top because I have the most uh, shares in them. Um, you can put uh, stocks that you're just kind of looking at up there. So if I wanted to move uh, this one up there, I could. And it'll stay there. Um, but I do not want it up there, so I'm going to put it down here because I don't have as much money invested in that one. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Um, if you click into it, you can see what the stock is worth right now. Um, this was on Friday. kind of shows you the graph. Um, and then again, month, three months, six months, one year. Um, and when you're going to buy and sell um, your stock, you click on that. And I'll kind of show you, um, say if I wanted to buy 10 shares, it shows you the market price right now and estimated cost that it would be. Um, and then if you're going to sell, you click that. You know, I want to sell two, it'll, it'll sell it at that. Or when the market opens, the best price. So, um, and right underneath that, it shows uh, how many shares you have. Um, what your value is worth with those shares, um, the average cost you paid for them. So right now you can see um, I'm, you know, about 80 cents down. Um, total return right now is uh, negative uh, 142, which isn't very good. Um, but Friday's return was $22, so it had gone up. Um, right under that uh, is the news for, for Ford stock, uh, just kind of from different websites. Um, you can click on show more if you want to see more. It uh, shows the stats of the company. This is actually a really good company. The um, PE ratio is 6. They have a really good dividend. Um, so that's kind of why I bought Ford because they're a really stable company and they pay out good dividends. So um, right underneath that it shows the orders, um, kind of the different orders that uh, you've recently done. You can also go to show more. Um, and these are kind of the dividends I've made um, over the last year. So I'll go to show more. Um, this is where I started. Uh, so December 1st of last year, I only made $1.05. Um, that's because I only had seven shares. So um, Ford's been consistently paying out about 15 cents a share. And right now, since I have, um, well, since I had 160, um, you know, I've made a lot more money. Um, so I had 160 there, now I have 163, so I'll probably earn a little bit more next time they pay out a dividend. But, um, and then um, each uh, stock uh, shows, or kind of tells you about the company, so you can read that. And um, your portfolio, portfolio diversity basically means um, how much money you have in this stock um, how much your total portfolio is uh, is from the stock. So I basically half my portfolio is in Ford right now. Um, so yeah, and then going out of that, um, 
that's basically it for that. Um, if you scroll down, you can see a watch list of kind of stocks that you're maybe considering buying or um, maybe have bought in the past and just kind of looking at, uh, you know, kind of how they're growing. So Groupon, I used to have uh, quite a bit invested in Groupon, um, but their stock is very up and down right now. And so I kind of did away with them. But um, I was looking at UPS. My dad has quite a bit of stock in UPS. And you can kind of see UPS has taken off uh, this last year, um, which is really cool. I don't have the type of money to invest in UPS right now. But um, so anyways, there's the main screen. It has a lot of information on it, um, lots of different things. Uh, so if you go into search, you can search for stocks. So uh, say if you want Best Buy, um, type in Best, Best Buy is right there. And then you can see you know, what Best Buy has done. Best Buy looks like it's doing very well. <laughs> so, um, wow. And I was actually thinking about buying Best Buy right around here and didn't. So, hmm, yeah. That'd be a good stock to invest in. Um, maybe not now. Um, but so this, this button right here um, is kind of uh, information for you um, shows your portfolio value which is on that screen anyways so you can go like this to get to it or you can click on that um, shows your buying power which is basically how much money you have in the bank to spend on stocks um, I only have two dollars and forty two cents right now which is not very much but um, yeah Robinhood instant uh, this is a new um, update that they've had I haven't really looked into that yet um, your account uh, basically shows your tax documents. Um, you can go in there, account statements, what you bought in. Um, yeah, this shows your stocks plus cash, basically how much value you have, um, buying power. It's gonna be the same as the cash.